Hello everyone. As per the results of the poll conducted on LinkedIn, the next topic on which I am presenting the video is how to read a judgment. Now, whenever we sit down with a judgment, what do we think? We read the facts, the issues, the arguments and the ratio or the judgment. Now, whenever you are reading the facts, read all the facts line by line. Do not miss out on any tiny detail. Read all the facts and understand the crux of the same. So there would be a lot of unnecessary details as well. So while take them into account and assess if they are in the context of the case or not. And maybe in very simple English, you can write down the gist of the facts. So there could be a fact situation where maybe a merchant ordered the manufacture of certain goods. He did not receive the payment in time. He filed the case. Now you can uh, draw a flow chart maybe or a diagrammatical representation of the facts while reading the case. This is going to clarify the fact situation in your head and will help you apply these to the entire case when you are reading ahead. Now you can also highlight the basic things there. For example, what is the dispute? The dispute is non-payment. What was the thing being manufactured? What was the delivery timeline? What was the price to be paid, etc. So there could be certain material facts which the lawyers or the judges may use to render the judgment. You can always highlight these and refer back to them. The most important thing is read the facts like a story and understand it in the context of the case. Now we come to what are the issues. After the facts, you would see issues which start with a weather generally. So it would be whether Mr. X was guilty of murder under section 302 or not. So typically the term weather would be used if you have to identify what are the issues. Now, what are issues? Issues are the questions which the judge or the court is addressing. So, for example, if there are four issues, now all these issues would be addressed separately. The lawyers would be arguing for and against these separate issues. Now, you need to understand them in the context of the facts. So, if the facts talk about contract law, you wouldn't get an issue which says that if the person was convicted of murder or not. So, you need to understand how the facts and the issue are basically in tandem with each other. Uh, also, facts could be substantive as well as procedural. So a substantive fact would tell you how and why the dispute or the offense arises. A procedural fact says how the case has been progressing. So maybe if it's a case before the Supreme Court or the High Court, there would be the lower court's judgments as well. So you need to keep your eye out for the same and see who, whose judgment is being appealed against here and what are the issues and how they fit in with the procedural and substantive facts which have been given. Now, for instance, an example of an issue would be, A went to B's house, he saw a book kept. He picked up the book and left. Now the issue would be whether A is guilty of theft. So you see a cause of action and the connection of the issue to that cause of action. So it is that connection which you need to establish. Now, arguments. This is the most important part of a judgment. Many would say it's uh, the decision, but according to me, the argument set the tone of the judgment. So first of all, read the arguments from both the sides and never accept them on face value. So if the lawyer is saying something pro or against that particular issue, always ask why is he saying so? And understand and evaluate the points that uh, counsel or the advocate is putting forth. Read whatever cases that have been cited uh, by the counsels in the support or against uh, the, the particular issue they are advocating. Also, uh, read those cases in entirety and that way you would understand the entire jurisprudence around the issue. Now, a very uh, simple way of understanding arguments is present both sides argument in a table. So make a table, write issue number one, arguments for uh, the petitioner against the petitioner and make the argument and present these arguments in a table form. Write in very simple words, explain them in a way that you would understand what, what is being said. 
do not change the nature of the arguments capture the crux but mention them in very simple language so that it would make you, make it easier for you to understand now we come to the judgment or the ratio now do not read uh, judgment but understand it and question why a particular judgment has been arrived at so asking why in while reading the ratio or the judgment of a case is extremely important you should never accept anything at the face value you should always question whatever has been held and understand the logic or the rationale behind it so just because supreme court said something is like you know you should not say okay fine this is what it is you should under also understand why the supreme court said that so you should always go into why rather than what now if there is a dissenting judgment you should also read that because it would give you a better perspective and it will make you think okay if the judgment was not delivered from this angle but from the opposite angle what would be the bearing or the implications now one of the most important reasons why anyone reads judgments is to understand how the judges apply the law so when you are going through the case make a note of all the legal provisions in the law which is being used then when you read the ratio see how these laws have been applied and what are the interpretations being put forth this would help you understand the conceptual understanding of the law now uh, a ratio can be overturned so whenever you are reading a judgment make sure that the judgment is current and has not been overturned by a higher court or a higher bench thank you and uh, hope you enjoyed the session please uh, ask any questions if you want to as comments in uh, this video or you can also message me on linkedin or call, leave a comment below to understand more about this topic thank you have a nice day